Good morning, it is uh, half past two and it is clear and it is Comet Neowise time. So yeah, really excited and the best part is I've just got in the car and I can see it from my house. So we're just gonna drive up to my parents' house see if I can get into the field at the back of theirs to give you an even better view. Um, so yeah, let's, let's crack on and get it. Proper excited about this one. As a side note, my Lexus passed 230,000 miles today. Okay, so I've just come to my parents' house and I'm just walking out the back of their field um, to get to a little bit of high ground, see if I can see Comet Neowise, which I only found out about this week. Um, it's turned up in a lot of news reports and Instagram feeds that I follow, and YouTube videos and things. Uh, and it's in the northeast sky very early in the morning, hence why it's nearly three o'clock in the morning now. Um, but I haven't seen a comet uh, for, for a long time, I remember going out to, to Box Hill 13 years ago, something like that. Haley's Comet, I think it was. Um, so I'm very excited to see this now and go try and get a picture of it. And very excitingly, I can see it with my eye. Also, I can see the moon, I can see Mars, I can see Jupiter and I can see Saturn. So I'm going to hopefully try and get a cheeky panorama of Comet Neowise, those three planets and the moon. Hopefully. I knew this field existed, you never know what's in it. It's got this beautiful wheat in it. I know that there's a public footpath sign halfway down, so I'm just walking to that, seeing if I can get the comet, which is up there in the sky. And the sign in the foreground, which would be just delightful. Got the moon up there with Mars, Jupiter and Saturn over there. It's looking good. It's looking good. Here's the public footpath sign pointing in the direction of the comet. So when we're set up over here. See what we can get. Okay, so first shot can just about to take 1.3 seconds, ISO 100, f6.3. See what we get. Hello, Comet Neowise. Look at that. This is through. 500mm Nikon lens, my dad's 500mm Nikon lens, zoomed as far as it will go, that is in real time, coming near wise, burning through the morning sky. Um, I've settled on 3.2 seconds at 1000 ISO, um, seems to be a good combination of just sharp enough um, and decent amount of light. I'm just going to get as many close up as possible as I can, uh, and then I will try with this foreground element. Also, I've noticed in the next 15 minutes, luckily, there is an ISS pass, which is incredible. So, I'm going to try, if possible, to get an ISS pass with the comet in the background. That's going to be very difficult to get it wide enough, but we'll give it a go. There it is. Streaming through at 17,000 miles an hour, the International Space Station. It's super amazing as I've boosted the ISO just to show you, but we've got Comet Neowise there, and then if we pan left, rising over here, we have Venus. very much left. Over here we have Mars 
the moon and then all the way back around to where we've come from setting over there in the west Saturn and Jupiter so four planets the moon and the comet all in one plane of the night sky Been out, been out about an hour. Um, so it's starting to come up a little bit more now. I think this has gone a lot higher in the sky. So I'll call it a night um, or a morning. Really happy with that. So much, so cool to see that. Um, I don't apologise for the hat and the scarf and the coat. I got freezing last time. And it's a lot better this time. Um, the hat, incidentally, I got for free from American Golf with the £10 voucher they sent me for my birthday so thank you thank you for American Golf um, not sponsored um, so yeah all in all really cool hoping so hoping that um, I know that the shots of the comic came out I'm really super happy with them uh, I'm just really hopeful that a panorama I took um, which included the International Space Station Venus Mars, Saturn and Jupiter and the Moon and the comet came out because that would be so amazing if it did. Yes. Very happy. Head home. <laughs>